Good morning and welcome to the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, St. Petersburg, Florida. Today is Sunday, February 11, 2024. Beautiful day here in St. Petersburg. It is also Super Bowl day. Yeah, also Super yeah. Bowl day. But it's just another day for us to just be glad that we're here. Thank you, Lord. And worship. Let us pray. The gracious and heavenly Father, we come before you as humbly as we can. Lord God, thank you for another day. Thank you for keeping us from last week until today. Lord God, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for covering us. We thank you, most important, Lord God, for just loving on us. Yes. And so, Lord God, we lift up on this day your holy name. In this lesson today, Lord God, a lesson that's so familiar that we've heard preached, taught, in Sunday school, preached in churches so many times over. But Lord God, we're praying for a fresh revelation of your word. And so Lord God, we continue to lift up this nation, the United States of America. We pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for all those who are just going through. We pray a special prayer for the church. Yes, Every Lord. believer there is. We ask that you cover us, Lord God, and keep us, Lord God, and protect us. Saying a special prayer for those families who are grieving right now. To my friend Laverne Scott and her family, just praying for them right now in the name of Jesus. Praying for those who are, who are sick, sickness in their bodies. Lord God, special prayer for Frank and Vivian Alexander in the name of Jesus. Yes. Saying a prayer right now, Lord God, for Mother Jean Butler. Saying a prayer for my mom, Thelma Patterson, right now in yes. the name of Jesus. Asking for healing. Praying for Cora Graham and for Melanie Hunter. So in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we are praying. Special prayer right now for little baby Genesis Gilbert and for Tamika Griffin. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we are praying. Amen. We're saying a special prayer for my, my first lady's mom, Miss Erlene Brady, right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we yes. pray for her family. We pray for their strength, yes. Lord God, as they go through. Yes, and so, Lord God, we just thank you for this day. We just praise you for this day. Thank we you. anoint you for this day. We lift up holy hands on you for this day, Lord God, because this is the day you have made. And Lord God, we're going to be glad in this day. Amen. And so now, Lord God, as we get into this lesson, faith in the midst of the right. So, Lord God, we ask that you now decrease the teacher. But we pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. My prayer is for all those who are to hear me this morning. They not just sit on this lesson, but they spread this message. And so, Lord God, we pray and we thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Faith in the furnace. Faith in the furnace. And please, for those who, been, who are sick and we, you hear those names, even if it comes across you in the spirit, just pray for them. Amen. Just pray for them. And, it's, and you know, because the prayer for the righteous, it truly avails much. So let's just pray for them. So as we are in today's lesson, this lesson is so familiar that for those who are new in, in the body of Christ, I'm going to give you some background on this. But for those who are familiar, you say, oh yeah, I know about Daniel's three friends in the fire, fire, fairness. We know the story. But do you really know the story? Do you know, know, truly know the story? And I knew of this in the month of February thing with the righteous live by faith. So we talk about faith Amen. in earnest. Yes, faith. faith in the furnace. When we know the furnace, we think it's something that's hot. That's right. It's hot. Do you have faith when it's hot? All right. So, a lesson dealing with Daniel started in Daniel chapter 1 when Daniel, and not just Daniel and his three friends, but Daniel and some of the young men of Judah were put into captivity, chosen by King Nebuchadnezzar's council. <laughs> Mm -hmm. To be brought forth. So they were chosen. He looked around and wanted the smart ones, wanted those that came from the royal house. So they were chosen. And so they went through an exercise mm -hmm. in chapter one, even about their diet. They did a test. Mm -hmm. And then their names got changed. Uh. Okay? Their Jewish name was, Daniel's name was changed in Babylon to Belteshazzar. Shazar. Hananiah's name was changed to Shadrach. Mishael's name was changed to Meshach, and Azariah's name was changed to Abednego. Mm. So they had name, they were given name changes in chapter one. Then in chapter two, these young men, after they had proven themselves, <laughs> the king had a dream 
that he, he put a challenge on all of the wise men in his kingdom to tell me what my dream was and then interpret. They were like, that's virtually impossible to do that. Mm -hmm. And so then, because they told him they couldn't do it, he said, well, all y'all gonna die. Mm -hmm. All y'all wise men I got, y'all ain't wise, y'all just gonna die. Mm -hmm. So then it went on, and they said, okay, so finally Daniel said, let me go in and pray. <clears throat> And let's find out, and I'll be able to tell you. But he didn't say, I can do it. He said, let me find out what God can do. Mm -hmm. And so Daniel was able to interpret, tell him what the dream was, and interpret. And one of the things he told him about the dream is that eventually your kingdom, O oh king, would be no more. Mm -hmm. Would be no more. So what Nebuchadnezzar did, he, made, he elevated Daniel and his three friends. I'm going somewhere with the story. He elevated them, put them in certain positions. So some time has gone by before we get to chapter 3. So it looks like we've passed through and we've gone through almost 20 years because these young men now, when they were young boys, brought into the captivity. Now they're a little older. They're a little older. And so because of the dream, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, decides to build a, a gold statue. A gold statue trying to prove that his kingdom would be, be, be forever. But see, this is messing up. See, because if God says so, All right. yes. 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 I don't care what man may say. Come on. Mm -hmm. Because God uh -huh. said so. Right. Yes. So he decided he's going to build his own statue and put an image that would be forever. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But God had already told him mm -hmm. in chapter 2, it ain't your kingdom. See, your kingdom was just used as a purpose. But yes. Come on. yes. But he's going to, because he's the king and his attitude is such, mm -hmm. so he builds this statue out of gold. And he gives and he sets up a time, chapter 3, verse number 2 says, come to dedicate this image mm -hmm. that he has set up. So all of the administrators and all of them get together, they call all of the people worldwide. Let's get ready to have a worldwide dedication of this statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. But then in verse 6, he tells them, and whoever don't fall down and worship it, mm -hmm. Y'all gonna be immediately cast into the fiery furnace. Well, because mm. you gotta worship. Mm -hmm. Yes, you gotta worship. Mm -hmm. So he says that when you hear this horn, flute, and all the music, everybody gotta bow down. Yeah, everybody. Mm. All right. So everybody didn't bow down. Mm -hmm. We don't know where Daniel is at this time, but everybody didn't bow down. Mm -hmm. So verse number eight, certain Babylonians that's that's up under Daniel and his friends. You know, sometimes people don't like who they don't like. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, I ain't got no reason y'all just don't like <laughs> And so they accuse these three friends of not, I'm like, okay, they didn't bow down. Mm -hmm. So I know you are going to do something about this. He said, these are the same Jews, mm -hmm. verse 12, that you sat over us. Shad, Rack, B, Shad, B, them, them, them the ones we're talking about. Uh -huh. So, so they're trying to show, they trying to show you that they ain't gonna listen to nothing you got to say. Yes. Uh -huh. So then, Nebuchadnezzar, verse 13, he gets upset. <clears throat> he gets upset. Mm -hmm. Now, in chapter two, when they couldn't interpret, and he got angry, he was ready to kill him. Yeah. Now he was able to calm and interpret, so everybody leaves. Mm -hmm. Now he, he's angry again. Mm -hmm. He's angry. You know, Maya Angelou, be y'all look like if she, she said something once. When a person show you who they are, mm -hmm. believe them. Yes, all right. Yes. So Nebuchadnezzar, everybody knew he was a tyrant of a king. Mm -hmm. So he meant what he said. So then he says, he brings them to him. And he says in verse 15, he says, okay, I'm going to give y'all another chance. Are y'all ready when the harps and the music being played? Y'all come back. He said, but if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the burning fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. Then in verse 16, the three, the three answer, O king, no king. Eh, wow. never can answer. We have no need to even answer you. We need not pray about this stuff. Because when you know who God is, it's all right. You just know. Yeah. We ain't got to yeah. pray about our God. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to go, God, do we need to really do this? No, we ain't got to do that. Because they're standing on their God and their faith. Yes. Right. Amen. So then, so we ain't got to do that. 
go, go seek our God out. We already know. We are not going to be bound to any graven image. Mm -hmm. So then, verse 17, said, if that is the case, our God whom we serve, that's I like what it said, is able. Able. Yes. Well, yes. yes. Paul said he is more than able. Mm -hmm. He seeks the abundance he is able yes. to deliver us mm -hmm. from the fiery furnace. And then, he will deliver us from your hand. Ooh, right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. But if not, if not, See, that's their faith right there. Let it be known to you, O king, that we will do not serve your God. Ah. So if or not, regardless of what you say and what you think, we just let you know, if not, mm -hmm. we still ain't going to serve. Mm. Nor will we worship this golden image that you said. So they just let it be known. So they, they had the mind attitude like Paul. So if God don't save me, mm -hmm. it's still a win. Yes. Because I'm still going to be with God. All right. right. And if God let me live, it's still a win. Yes. Yes. I'm still with God. Yes. So it's still yes. a win. Yes. Yeah. So they were saying, so if, if not, mm. but we going to trust us, we know God is saved. Yes. Now, I, just, I guess I got y'all up to the lesson and to the story. <laughs> so we're up in verse 19. Mm -hmm. Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fervor, an expression of his face changed toward them. Let me translate in how we say it, black folks language. <laughs> then Nebuchadnezzar, full of hell and hatred, mm -hmm. and he is now pissed off. Yes, wow. I said. <laughs> and his expression changed because they had the audacity to say how great their God was. Right. Yes. Mm. To him, the king. <laughs> they not afraid. See, it's, it's good to be able to stand on what you believe in, mm -hmm. to no matter who it is. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you stand. Yeah. But you gotta also believe mm -hmm. in what you stand up for. Right. Yes. And so they stand on God's word. Yes. And they know one thing about God's word. God's word is, is true. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So his expressions change on his face. Mm -hmm. He upset now. Mm -hmm. And he looked at those three. And he spoke and commanded. That they heat up the furnace seven times that it should, that it should heat it. Now, we don't know if that means that they turned it up to them. But what it does say is that they turned it up to be higher, hotter than what it normally is hot. But then, how hot is he? Mm -hmm. All right. He is hot. Right. And if it's in a furnace, it's still hot. Right. Yes. But then, what he was saying is because his anger was so, mm -hmm. he wanted them that when they get, before they could get there, he wanted them to burn up. Yes. Because he was so pissed. That they had the audacity to defend their God against him. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. See, that's where you see that's how faith should be. Yes. That no matter what man says, that's right. I don't care if it's the pastor, mm -hmm. I don't care if the deacons or the mother, but whatever God says is what yes. I stand on. Yes. So you can't make me follow behind you if you ain't coming from what God says. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Come on. So you can just you can just strip me, take me, say, well, I uh, so kind of need you to know God don't say it. Mm -hmm. And ain't in his word, I don't care who you are. Come on. Because last time I checked, mm. God woke me up. Yes. 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 Last time I checked, God is the one that has sustained me and given me life. All right. All right. Now I'm just telling you what I know. And so, and then he commanded the certain mighty men, he got the strongest of his army. To bind them, tie them up. Mm -hmm. Now, I, and I thought that was strange. They're going to already, what's the purpose of tying them up mm -hmm. to be thrown into the fire? Right. There's no purpose behind it. Mm -hmm. But when you think about when you're being thrown into the fiery furnace of life, you are always bound to mm, mm -hmm. by whatever's holding you back. Okay. All right. So y'all see what I'm going here? Uh -huh. yeah. And so sometimes you focus so much on what's binding you until you don't even realize that in the midst of your fire, God is with you. Amen. Amen. So they bind them up and they cast them into the burning furnace. And then they said that these men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were bound in their coats, their trousers, the turban, and the other arms, all flammable articles of clothing. In other words, they didn't get a chance mm -hmm. to go say goodbye to nobody. To, to change and put on some different type of clothes, they ain't get a chance for nothing. 
His anger was such that he wanted them immediately thrown in. Yes. Immediately thrown in. Cast into the fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's how life is for us. Yes. That when we get ready to be cast into the storm or to the furnace, we ain't got time to change mm -hmm. because we're reacting. Yes. And we're thrown in. Mm, that's right. God can change us no matter what we got on. All right. All right. What you mean? No matter what the situation is. Yes. 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 And so, therefore, because the king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so exceedingly hot, the flame, now these, these mighty men that had these three men bound, as they took them to the fire, to the furnace, and the furnace was a huge furnace, huge, that that was one of the methods of killing people for, be, for doing something against the king, mm -hmm. right? They had a lion's den and they had a furnace. That was their method of execution. Mm. So it was huge. These men that came to the furnace to throw them in, they burned up, they died. Mm -hmm. now, now, you see something strange in this too? Mm -hmm. yeah, come mm -hmm. yeah. It consumed them, but it didn't consume the three. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now see, as a little kid, when I used to hear the story taught in Sunday school, I said, well, that don't make no sense. Because if they there with them, mm -hmm. why didn't they get harmed? Right. Mm -hmm. See, that's the miracle in that. Uh -huh. Amen. Because they were bound. Yes. They couldn't run. Mm -hmm. And these three men ushered them, pushing them. The three friends are okay, but not the people that put them. All right. Mm -hmm. Make you think, right? Mm. Yeah. Something to think about. Yes. No weapon formed against you mm -hmm. will prosper. Yes. When you covet in God's righteousness, yes. the enemy can't touch you. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So he, they had just said, our God is well able. Yes. So they stood on that faith. Mm -hmm. So righteousness was covering them. Mm -hmm. Before they even got in the fight. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Well, well. Thank right. you. Thank you. Righteousness. Yes. Was covering them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help somebody. Yeah. Even when your faith gets so weak, Come on. if you're covered in this righteousness, the enemy yeah. can't harm you. Yes, right. He right. can try to do something, right. but he can't harm you. Thank you. Thank you. He can't burn you, but he, can't, he won't be able to harm you. You ain't going to get no scratch All right. on you. All right. All right. But everybody surrounding you oh. that's against you will be harmed. All, All right. right. So be careful yes. when you mess with God's anointed. All right. All right. Oh. I'm just trying to help somebody. All right. All right. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh -huh. when they get in, yes. they fell down, mm -hmm. bound in the midst of the fire. Yes. Now, you wanted them, King, to bow. Mm -hmm. They fight, they bow in the midst of the fire. Yes. Because I know my fire symbolizes the presence of God. How do I know that? Mm. Because in the wilderness, uh -huh. when the nation of Israel were traveling, God gave them two signs. Cloud by day and fire <laughs> by night. night. So they were covered the with, with the fire with yes. the glory of God. Yes. So when they in the fire, they had no choice but to bow down. Right. And so they started bowing down in worship. Yes. And then the Bible says, get on here with the scripture, that the king, and I probably everybody else, everybody else witnessing this, was astonished. Mm -hmm. And he rose with haste, because he probably was sitting there looking back and wondering to himself, the thing that really got him is that how my soldiers uh -huh. died and perished yes. yes. with these three men mm -hmm. still in the midst, walking on through. And then he asked a strange question. Didn't I put three of them mm -hmm. into the fire? Yes, yes. They said, yeah. You're trying to go, Peter, go, yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we see what you're seeing, too. <laughs> we see exactly what you're seeing. I put three mm -hmm. in yes. to the fire. And he said, 
You know how you 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 you, you, you think to yourself, "Am I seeing what I'm seeing?" All right. Look. Mm. Why do I see four? Yes. Mm. Me. Mm -hmm. Walking mm. in the midst of the fire. All right. Mm. Now. Well. And then her. Mm -hmm. But it's four. Yes. They walking because beforehand it was bound. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just going to use my spiritual yeah. imagination. <laughs> yes. And when they got into the fire, and they bowed down in the midst of the fire, uh -huh. and then when they looked up in the presence of Jesus, uh -huh. then they got up and they started worshiping, walking around, because they're in the presence of Jesus. All right. yeah. So the Mount of Transfiguration, when Peter, James, and, uh, and John saw Jesus on the mountain. He saw Elijah and he saw Moses, he saw Jesus. He said it was good. Yes. It was good. He, they were just looking. Mm. The conversation was going on between those three. So can you imagine what kind of conversation was going on hey. in the midst of the fire? I'm trying to help somebody. Yes. So yes. even when you're in the fire, you need to start having a conversation well, with Jesus. All right. Yes. Because that conversation can deliver you while you're in the fire. Come on. Yes. So they should yes. start praising while you're in the fire. No longer are you bound right. with the troubles uh -huh. of your situation. <laughs> You're now focusing on the praise right. of giving it to God. Yes. So that's why you can walk around and fight. That's why when you walk around, you don't look like mm -hmm. what you know that you've been going through. You had some losses in your life. Yes. But you don't look like it. Mm -hmm. He said, so he said, he said, then he said, they don't even look like they hurt. Exactly. And then he said, then the fourth one. I, 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 I can't explain it, but it, 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 is it like the sun? He said, like. Like. Nebuchadnezzar mm -hmm. don't know. All right. He said, like. Uh -huh. The son of God. Uh -huh. Then he goes and gets near. Mm -hmm. And he calls out to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He says, servants of the Most High God. Now, don't think that he's giving God glory. Mm -hmm. What he's doing is elevating God above his God. But as for Shadrach, Meshach, and Pinto, and I'm concerned, he is the God who is the most high God. That's right. Yes. He said, come out, you three. Come on out. Because if y'all could be in there walking around, y'all come on out come on. of the fire. Mm -hmm. Releasing them from the fire. But God had already freed them in the fire. Oh, oh right. yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Mm. See. Mm. Don't let man take credit for something God has already done. That's right. God had already delivered them right. in the fire. Uh -huh. So you calling them out, they've already delivered, so they're they praising now. That's right. yeah. And then all of the administrators, the governors, and the king's councils gathered together, and they saw the men, saw these men, and on bodies, the fire had no power. No power. Mm. <clears throat> See, because their interpretation of the fire was for their interpretation. Mm -hmm. But we know we recognize that the fire represented God. Yes. So their fire had no power. All right. But God's fire has all power. All power. All power. So they meant the furnace for harm. Mm -hmm. God meant it for deliverance. Yes. He said the hair on the head mm. was not singed. Because mm -hmm. y'all know Anybody that's in intense care of fire, mm -hmm. your hair is singed, and not only the hair, even your eyebrows. All yes. the hair on your body right. was yes. singed. Right. But see, but then they was walking around, so we know there was no. And then it says, neither did their clothes mm -hmm. burn up. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even have a smell. They have a smell of fire. Uh -huh. fire. Isn't that something? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's talk about teaching. Believers who are Faithful, mm -hmm. who know God's word. Come on. And no matter what you go through, mm -hmm. betrayal, losses, job loss, to be homeless, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna look like what you went through. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. You Amen. should come out looking like crazy. When you're sick, mm -hmm. granted, sometimes your body may start deteriorating and showing the effects of the sickness, mm -hmm. but when you're walking, you should be smiling. That's right. well, how are you doing today? Yeah. 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 Because yes. 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 So, did you lose your job? Yes. yes. 
Look out the table. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. table. Yeah, that's right. Got yeah. his table. Because if he closed that door, he gonna open up another door. Sure. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey, So then you hey, uh, yeah. so your house and everything. What happened to that? Well, I don't have that anymore. What? God is able. Oh, yeah, yes, he is. 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 Yes, Everything on this side is not permanent, but I know on the other side, God is saved, so I have to keep smiling. Yes. Keep smiling. So I don't look like what I've been through. You know, people, people need to be able to look at you mm-hmm. and see God in you. That's right. But if you're walking around, how do you feel? Y'all just go home. <laughs> All the things I've been through. Mm-hmm. Mm. I tell you, but I serve God. Who is faithful? Who is faithful. And when it says that to them, and it says in verse 28, I know I'm running out of time. Bless, <laughs> this is the connection saying, be the God. That's how you know he don't believe. He said, be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servant who trusted in him. <laughs> and they have frustrated the king's word and yielded their body that they should not serve, nor worship any God except their own God. So bless them. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Then he said he's going to make a decree. The kingdom. Mm-hmm. Kingdom. Language anybody speak against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut. Because then he said, because there's no other God who can deliver it like this. Still, he ain't acknowledging God. That's right. He said a God who can deliver them from the fire of furnace. Yeah. So he says, but bless them. They're God. Mm-hmm. See, I know my God is able. Yeah. So bless my God. Whether Nebuchadnezzar give him the praise or not, we that are faith in the church should stand and believe that God is able. Yes, yes. Amen. What was so that he said they delivered them? And I know what it was that was in the furnace with them. They had faith and they had truth. Yes. Yes. So, um, what, what, what are you talking about when you said they had faith and truth? Let's go into the go all the way to the end of the Bible. Let's go all the way to Revelation. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a horse come mm-hmm. who sits on the white horse. Mm-hmm. Who is that who's coming back? Jesus. Jesus. He's the rider. Mm-hmm. You know what that rider says? Faith mm-hmm. and truth. You have to have faith and you have truth. Truth is what? The word of God. Right. He is faithful and he is true. That's the thing that can sustain us in this life called the furnace. Yeah. Because the enemy is still around to yeah. kill steal and destroy. But you have to rest on your faith. Amen. And I'm not talking about faith because you know that just like they were. They say, uh, you really got to pray about it when you already know about it. Mm-hmm. So what you do is good. Now, sometimes you tell me I ain't got to pray. That's not what I say. <laughs> I'm saying, when you know that you know. All right. Yes. And you right there and somebody got a gun to your head. Come on now. All you got to do is say, I'm still standing that I believe in God. And you know nothing what you can do. You can put a bullet in me right now. But I still believe that God, Jehovah God, is the great I am and he is God of all. Yes. So yes. whether you want to be killed, yeah. I don't care. Go ahead. Because it's going to be a win for me. Uh-huh. I need to live on this yes. and I will still be teaching. I'm going to stand before the people. Or he can take me all the glory. And I can be with all the other saints. Come on. I can see my grandma when I get there. Right. I can see some of the other pe- preachers over here. I can see my late pastor, Elder Warren, on the other yeah. side. Because it's still going to be a win. Yes. Yes. So whatever you do, whatever what I go through, right. in the midst of the first, right. I have faith. Preach. Preach. Come on. Yeah. I have faith. Yeah. Yes. I have faith. Yes. I stand on his word. Right. So when I'm in the fire, I'm walking around. I'm, yes. I'm throwing a hole in uh-huh. And I'm praising him. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. So no matter what comes at me in life, uh-huh. I can still throw a hole in him. Hallelujah. I can still praise him. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Yeah. 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 Yeah.